Hi guys, this is Zim Tariq from Dietisco.com. In this video, we are going to update our model and our controller to actually work with the uh, eBean. So we can use eBean ORM to save our book, to find our book, to update our book and to delete our book. So let's get started. We are going to remove all of this code that we wrote in our model. So we have these properties and the last thing that we are going to define here is the finder for this uh, book class. So let's do it. It should be public static finder. The first type that you want to pass here is the type of the primary key of this book model. So right now we are using integer as the primary key of this book model. So that's why we are going to pass integer here. And second is the model that uh, you want to work with this uh, finder, which is book. Find is equal to new finder and let's pass this book class here and we can skip this entirely okay let me explain it again if for example this is the user class and uh, you want to use email or username as a primary key then what you can do right so for example, you want to use string email as a primary key and first you have to tell this uh, ebean ORM that uh, this is the primary key of this book model and here you need to tell this finder class that uh, the data type of this primary key is string. Let's do it. Right. So this is how you work with different data types of primary keys. Let's me go back where we were. Our book model is ready. Let's uh, go ahead and go to our books controller. And let's update this uh, book model. To get all books from our database, we will use this find object and then we will call all function here this function will return list of books so let's change it to list to import this click on this class press alt and enter and import this class perfect since the type of this book list is list so we have to update this in our index view and by the way you can navigate to different files by pressing double shift it will open this search box and you can type any file name where you want to go now we want to go to index.scala.html from books view and let's change it to list now it will work just fine there is nothing to change in this uh, create function. Now let's uh, go to this save function. To save this book, we can call save function directly on this book and it will save this book into database. Perfect. And to find single book, what we can do is we can use find object then we will call find by id and we will pass this id here perfect and again with this as well find dot by id and then we will pass the id of the book that we want to find book dot id And after updating all information about this book, we will call all book dot save function or you can call update function as well. 
and here again to find book we will call find object and we will pass id here and this will find this book and uh, and pass this book to our show method and finally to destroy a book we will call first we will find this book from our database then we will call book dot delete function and and uh, if you are wondering where these function are coming from like uh, update function save function these function are coming from this class this model class which is provided by ebin rm let's compile our application again our application compiled successfully let's run it and by the way let me show you another thing to get out of this window press uh, ctrl c type yes and let's run our application again spt and let's type run every time you will run your application it will going to create new database for you and it will look into your models and uh, figure it out uh, what SQL query it should run and it will show you the SQL query that uh, this script is going to run let's apply this script and it will create this book table into our database right now there is no book into our database let's create one let's uh, call it c++ 12 abc create this book and we are able to create our book let's create another book with the id of 3 uh, title would be java or price would be 54 dollar and let's create this book as well let's update this book and update this book and we are able to update this book uh, let's see if delete uh, function is also working or not and it's working so that's it for this video uh, in this video we work with the uh, in-memory database and uh, in the next video we are going to work with the uh, MySQL database. So yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.